Hey guys, welcome back to In the Rig and On the Road. Kind of an announcement. Um, I just want to give a, a heartfelt thank you out there to the venues like Front Range Brewing Company in Lafayette. They're there in the district parking lot. You guys ought to go over there if you get a chance and see them enjoy the world-class food and the award-winning beers they have. Another venue is Boco Cidery in North Boulder. Michael Balashi has a beautiful setup there. Uh, it is it is ciders, but they're really good. And uh, Lorano Wine, Lorano's Wine uh, Cellar and Grill up in Fort Collins. They have a beautiful underground setup that uh, pretty amazing. Go visit them if you like great wine and, and good food. Uh, the train cars up in Nederland. Uh, Jim has a, a little small but beautiful historical setup up there. Uh, some of those cars belong to Buffalo Bill because then his Wild West show. That's a true fact. And uh, to all the venues out there that, you know, hold live music close to their heart and have always been there for the local musicians and musical scene in this state, we truly appreciate you guys. We know who's always been there behind us. And there's a few that used to be on our roster that aren't no more because one of two things happened to them and all this crap. They either had to close forever or they had to let certain things go that they needed to have live music in order to prevent the loss of their establishments, and we totally get it. I'm not saying that at all. We totally get that. I'm talking about venues that we offered to help on that first open up. And we did it for free. We, we offered to help them for free and they declined. You know, I know that I realized that they were only operating at 20% or whatever they could do. We didn't ask to get paid. We asked to come in with fellow bands and fellow singer songwriters that we knew and maybe pull our fans in so that they could get, you know, business. But they, they declined. Those are the venues I'm talking about. The venues that uh, have told me across the table it's cheaper to turn on a radio. <laughs> uh, that's that's fine. That's your prerogative. But um, people like live music. It's not for everybody. We realize that too. So I just want to keep promoting those places that have always been there for us, has always... Uh, been just a a gracious host to us when we're there. The beautiful establishments that they've had, they've kept going. And let it be known that there are people that still have a love for the musical community here. And let everybody know that, yeah, I am 100% behind the opinion that if you don't support music, then music shouldn't support you. I realize it's a tough time. I realize everybody's losing a lot of things. And, well, you don't understand because of small business. Now, I am a small business owner. That's what music is. So we understand. We get it to the fullest. And, uh, yeah. If you, if you quit having music because it's what you consider easiest, that's fine. It's your prerogative. It's also our prerogative as musicians and local artists in this state to maybe not support people that don't support us. That's all we're saying. And there you have it in a, in a nutshell. Uh, to all of you out there that, that promote us and stand behind us, we thank you. 
We love our fans. We love the venues that have always been there, and we consider always will be. We love you guys. I'll see you on down the road.